Greetings Highlanders fans and welcome back once again to GoHighlanders.com's continued coverage of the UC Riverside women's soccer season. Coach Gonzalez, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. Well, you're entering your second year as head coach of the Highlanders women's program. What are the differences from year one to year two for you? Um, the biggest thing is we had an opportunity to recruit the, our freshman class this year. Um, had a full 18 months to recruit versus when I got the job last year. It was, it was a mad scramble a little bit to, to fill the roster in with the 2012s, which, um, to be honest, we, we found some good ones. Um, but this year, I've got a large freshman class because we had time to recruit. Um, we had some needs that we needed to meet to, to fill, uh, specifically on defense and just general overall general athleticism, which um, we, last year we had, uh, we didn't have the fastest team, and I feel like we've added that to this year's team along with um, along with the experience of the returners. You know, hopefully it's going to be a, a, a new, look, uh, new look team. Before we look forward to 2013, let's take a look back at last year. Finished 7, 10, and 3 a year ago, including wins in conference over Pacific and Santa Barbara. How did the team do last year, particularly based on how you thought they would do heading into the season? Um, just going in last year, I thought I thought our non-conference, we would, we would probably get a bigger uh, cushion, if you will, uh, with wins. Um, we ended up, I think a lot of it had to do with the newness of obviously myself and, and staff, um, as well as uh, obviously the players trying to incorporate them uh, with players for the 2012 freshman class. Um, we ended up roughly just over 500 uh, going into conference, which made it difficult because every conference game at that point was important, um, as it always is, but even more important overall record. And, uh, you know, I, I was hoping, I knew conference, the Big West is tough. And so I just knew conference would be more difficult. Um, I was hoping for maybe a couple more results before we, we got to Santa Barbara. But, uh, I mean, we, for me, I was, I was happy we just got our feet wet. Big West, you know, we ended up strong, which is, I guess, a positive, uh, ending the conference stronger than, than we started. All right, let's look towards 213, but with an eye towards 2012. Who did we lose last year who we're not going to see back on the pitch this year due to graduation? Um, our, our biggest, I would say the biggest loss, obviously, in goal, uh, Jessica White being here um, with her experience that we had last year. She she made, she made covered up a lot of uh, a lot of mistakes that potentially our, our defensive line uh, were, were making, but she definitely helped us stay in games. Um, and and we, we lost Melissa Escamilla, who, who played multiple roles last year. She started out as a defender. She ended up up top. Um, I think her versatility, um, we're going to definitely miss her. All right, let's look towards 2013 straight on. Who are the key returners this year to the program? Um, well, I, you, you got to mention Selena. She's been kind of like the, the steady. Eddie of the group, she she played probably at 60, 70 percent all year last year. We were trying to manage her injury. She's healthy now. Um, getting her 100 percent for for 20 games is going to be huge. Um, and then obviously the experience that some of the new new players uh, that the freshmen last year, the experience that a lot of them gained last year is going to be key this year. Tyler Cunningham, I think she's uh, started to figure out college soccer in general, and I think she's going to be ready to to make a huge impact. I think the other one is Amber Morani. Um, she played in multiple spots as well last year. Um, I probably see her more as a midfielder this year and she's done a good job and came in prepared uh, to compete and not only compete but make a statement. Both those players got some good minutes last year but yeah, as you said you're expecting them to do a little more this season. Are there some players last year who maybe didn't play as much that you expect to make a bigger impact this year? I think Andrew Morales. I think she, you know, she was tied for a top top point getter. Um, I think this year just with her experience she'll be she'll be able to come in and, and do uh, a good job giving us giving us minutes off the bench because for sure she sets a spark um, that, that we need off the bench with a lot of times when the game slows down. Alright, let's take a look at the newcomers, both the freshman and the transfer class. Who do you expect Highlanders fans to get a good look at this season? Um, well, we got a big group, and, and like I said, our biggest need was just overall athleticism. I think um, Tatum Lockett uh, and Danny Lopez is, have done a good job uh, preparing themselves for the season. Um, it's, it's always hard. You always, you always have your ideas on who's going to show well, and you just never know. And, but just coming in with, with their, their experience, I think it's going to be a huge, um, huge plus because they're both pretty athletic. Um, 
I mean, you go down the line, we've got Jade Behan, who's coming in as a transfer from a junior college. Um, she's going to help us in the back. Uh, potentially, um, we've got other players like Danielle Giltner, uh, Sammy Ariano, uh, uh, Brie Avila. Um, th those four or five, I think, uh, Danny playing up top, Brie Avila as an attacker, um, both have some, some athleticism. Tatum Lockett could be in the midfield, maybe up top. Uh, she has athleticism as well. Um, and in the back, obviously, Jade Behan um, is going to help shore up the back line, which we lost uh, a few players from last year. Let's look to the goalkeeping. Jessica White, as you mentioned, a mainstay in the, between the pipes for the Highlanders four out of the past five years. How do you see the battle for the goalkeeping spot shaping up? Uh, I've got two really good goalkeepers. I got Nicole Regano, who is obviously number two to Jess White last year, and she got some minutes uh, late in season, um, which hopefully will serve her well. She also played a ton during this past spring. Uh, we got Elizabeth Silas as a transfer. Um, that has come in and showed really well, and so I think those two will be battling for minutes. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that's going to shake out, but I'm definitely comfortable with either one playing in goal because uh, they are both give us good quality back there. All right, let's look towards Big West Conference play. A year ago, Cal State Fullerton had the best record in the regular season. Cal State Northridge went along to win the conference tournament, securing the Big West's NCAA berth. Coach's poll came out recently, and uh, you and your coaching brethren have picked Cal State Fullerton to repeat as regular season champs. Do you agree with that assessment? And who else do you think will be in the mix for the top spot in the conference this year? Uh, definitely. I mean, I think it's hard not to go with Fullerton. I mean, they've, they've, um, they've got some experience coming back. They're very athletic. They're very deep. Um, it seemed like last year we always had trouble with them, even when they brought in uh, players off the bench. So I think, I think the experience of them having success last year is going to bode well for them. Uh, Northridge. Um, graduated a lot of players. I just think, you know, the Big West in general is strong and I, I mean, you can't count anyone out. Um, some of the sleepers, I think, I think potentially Irvine, I think even though they did well last year, I think Irvine um, will, will be better this year for sure just because they're, they're going to be a year older and they, they're very athletic in key spots as well as got some uh, returners that would be will be good for, for in 2013. How do the Highlanders stack up against the rest of the Big West, and what does it take, do you think, this season for us to break into the, the postseason tournament? Um, I, I just think the, the non-conference season is going to be huge for us because we're going to have a lot of new faces on the field, so I think getting them comfortable to play together, getting them comfortable just understand collegiate soccer in general, uh, even though Big West competition, it's, it's, a, it's a 10, 20 degrees uh, tougher than, than what we're facing. Uh, in non-conference, but I just think getting them comfortable and working together with so many new faces I think is going to be key to giving us confidence. Um, we can play with any team in the Big West, it's just a matter of do we go in with confidence, do we, do, do we end up maybe the non-conference on a little bit of a roll, um, and then obviously getting organized as a unit, as a team, uh, to be able to, to, to compete with the Big West. I think athletically we're there, I think our, our youth uh, might be the area that we're, we're going to try and coach experience as much as we can in the non-conference. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. Good luck this season, and we hope to see you uh, early to mid-November in the Big West Conference Tournament. Thank you.